Let's get through this game and try not to cry in real life. Take and eat it. Eat it, eat it, kid, eat it. Chocolate makes everything better. Can I move this? Can I move these ducks? Okay. What was that? What did I just see there? What was that? Also, why are there arrows pointing right here? Also, what was that? Hey, how's it going? My name is Belit, and tonight we're playing Baby Blue's Nightmare. Hope you guys enjoy. We're diving in. We're diving in. A game by... It's alright, baby boy. Still Let me tell you a little story about a little boy named Aiden. Aiden was a very, very special boy. He was a bit different than the other kids around his age. Instead of playing with the other kids, he loved to play with his toys. While all the other kids chose the most beautiful dolls to play with, Aiden, on the other hand, used to ask all the time why the other dolls always get in the while only the beautiful ones get the most attention. So Aiden loved to collect the least beautiful dolls so they don't feel left out. Aiden always felt sad when someone was being left out. He wanted to be kind to everyone, despite their looks. Aiden was obsessed with a show called Red Belly and Friends and collected all its dolls, except Red Belly himself. Because even though Red Belly was the nice looking one, he was always mean to the other dolls. Aiden didn't like when someone was mean to others. He had Kitty Paws, Mr. Bunny Teeth, Miss Starry, Honey Claw, Cloudy. He always wanted them to sleep next to him because they made him feel safe. The real monsters wouldn't come near him because the dolls were his protection. Aiden never went anywhere without them. Everywhere he went, he took them with him. Each and every one of them. Until one day, they were gone. Maybe it was the work of Red Belly, the nicest one among the because sometimes the real monsters come in a nice way and with a friendly face. Good night. What a horrible bedtime story. Absolutely awful. What kind of parent? What kind of parent does that? Also, what kind of toys? Those toys looked real bad. They look real rough. My room. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing that I am Aiden. And... Okay, so find all your five protective dolls. Um, so... Don't know a lot about this game. And that is very common. Very common... Uh, here. Uh, for me to not know things about the games I'm playing. Oh, I see what I'm doing. Oh, I see what I'm doing. Okay, I hold E. Oh my gosh, the sensitive. All right, hang on. I need to. Hang on a second. Let me turn down the old sensitivity just a skosh. 1.4. Love it. Let's try it. Let's try that. That feels better. Probably gonna die anyway, regardless. Yeah, so don't know a whole lot about this game. I think it is a Matt Scott. Mascot horror game is what I have, what I briefly read. So, and it looked pretty good. It looked pretty, pretty all right. I don't know what was the point to get up here. Is there anything in there? No. Why am I, why, that doesn't go anywhere. I don't know. Um, so yeah, mascot horror game. And I think there's a survival element to it as there typically are with these put away. With these, with these kinds of games. So, excited to play it. I'm excited to play this game. Okay, I can't get up there. So, maybe I need that. Nice. Rotate. Oh. Okay. Got a sword. Don't really know what I'm supposed to do with it. So I need to find five of these guys. Can I open this door? I can. Okay, I can go in here. Okay. Um.
Okay, so this is on a loop. The, the, the argument's on a loop. I was expecting there to be an end and, uh, and her to, like, storm out or something and the door slam, uh, but that did not happen. Door's locked from the other side and can't be opened. Okay, what is this? Examine. Okay, yeah. Get the stool and then slide the deadbolt. Oh, there's deadbolts. That's what it was talking about. Okay, so I need to go get the, the stool in my room. Um, I gotta say, being a father myself to a sweet 14-month-old boy and I know this is just a game I get it I know it's just a game and but you have to imagine things like this happen in real life and it it really breaks my heart it, it I'm just to be honest for just a second uh, it, it just breaks my heart for these uh, for these precious little boys and girls who who um, I guess grow up in homes like this and it just I don't know it just really hurts my heart but anyway that's I don't I'm not trying to get too deep here uh, anyway let's play this game so there we go all right let's go in here let's go in here um, some objects can also be moved around to reveal passageways okay oh probably this bit so am I gonna know what the little animals let's see find all your five protected dolls find a way to unlock the main baby gate okay so i need a key and i need to find the five protected dolls but am i gonna know what they look like i guess hopefully it'll be obvious i don't know all right i'm imagining we need to go in here drop you open this What's in here? Man, okay. Okay, it's just a mouse. It's just a mouse. Everybody, let's just everybody calm down, okay? It's just a mouse. That's all it is. That's all it is, just a mouse. All right. All right, one plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. Zero plus zero equals zero. Take. Picked up black crayons. Crayons allow to draw some walls and get creative. Press F to equip it. Oh, two, four, and zero? Zero. There we go. That works. All right. Um, so let's go over here and explore this room and see what we can find. I go under the bed. I cannot go underneath the bed. Um, okay, here we go. Open cabinet drawers to climb on them and reach new heights. Okay. Okie dokie. Do that. Do that, and do that, and up we go. Hoop. Is that the key? Hoop. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. Okay, we're making progress. We're making... Okay. Don't know what that is don't care to know what that is so we are just gonna okay what's around this corner hmm. wait these weren't arranged this way before uh, okay okay so let's go unlock this baby gate I'll put this right there Use. Objective updated. Find all five of your protective dolls. Okay, so yeah, I guess I should know. I'll, I'll know. I'm... Wait, what? You're crying enemy knows your location even if you hide. Okay, I know this is supposed to be scary. And it is. It is. It is. It is scary. It is. But again, I just... My, my dad heart, this is just sad. This is just sad to me. It's more sad than it's scary because I think about my, my son and it just, uh, I just want to be, my heart just breaks for little babies who grow up in these broken homes. It really breaks my heart. It does. All right, let's get through this game. Let's get through this game and try not to cry in real life. All right, when scary events occur, your cry meter will drain. If it goes gets low, you will start to cry. Oh, okay. So how do I stop crying? Make you vulnerable as the enemy will hear you and instantly know your position even if you hide. Yeah, so how do I stop crying? Is, is the 
question. How am I supposed to go about stopping the crying? Door is blocked. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. How do I get happy? How am I supposed to be happy again? Here we go. Let's examine this. Dolls. Okay, Mr. Bunny Teeth, Mr. Starry Cloudy Head, Kitty Paws, and something. Oh, can I just open this? No. Okay. Um, how, what, where, what are we doing? How do I stop crying? Like, like for real. How do I, how do I shut this kid up? Oh, wow. Yeah, so maybe we should just try to open the door. Open one of the doors. I think that that... All right, you can restore back your cry meter by finding and eating chocolates. Chocolate that can be found lying around. Take and eat it. Eat it. Eat it, kid. Eat it. Chocolate makes everything better. So... Ooh. that blood or wine? I'm assuming it's wine. Or maybe not. Because there was a gunshot, right? You can hide under tables by crouching down and moving under them. Okay. Like that? Okay, cool. Alright, cool. Um, so, I need to find these dolls. Uh, let me go back in here just real quick and see just to make sure I didn't miss one in this room. Because I might have. Definitely might have. There's no ventilation in this chimney. That is not safe. All right, yep, let's just keep pressing on. Let's just keep pressing on here. Let's see if we can find our five dolls. And I think that's it. I think, it's all, I think that's literally all we're supposed to do is find our five protective dolls. Healthy foods such as apples will restore your health. Instead, you can press tab to open inventory. Oh, alrighty. Okay, so chocolate stops me from crying and apples restore health. This house is kind of big. I don't think I expected. Yeah, I didn't expect the house to be this big. Uh, wait, can I just, can I open this door back? Can I open this door back up? No, I can't. Uh, well, I need to go back in there. So let's just go back in there. Let's just go back in here because there was a basement to be explored. There was a basement down here. And wait, can I open this now? Okay, I can't. So I guess if I start getting chased, there's only one way to go. Alrighty, coming down. Please nobody kill me. Please, my goodness. What is that? What is that? That looks horrifying. All the toys in this game look absolutely... Debris such as rubber ducks and glass will make noise when stepped on and can alert enemies. Enemies? I thought it was one. I thought it was enemy. I thought it was just one. But you're telling me now there's more? You're telling me that there are more than one enemy now? There's more, there's more than one? Can I move this? Can I move these ducks? Okay. Okay. All right. Don't. Don't move, buddy. Don't move. You just stay right there. That is so scary. This whole house is just messed up. This whole household is just jacked up. There's so much wrong in this house. There are so many things. There are so many things in this house that are just wrong. Like these, like this right here. Like who has this in their house? Who has it in their basement? Who has it? Who buys that stuff? Who buys that stuff? And I get the whole idea of wanting to have the ugly dolls. That's, Aiden's a sweetheart. I gotta say, he's a sweetheart. What are you looking at? Hey, Aiden's a sweetheart because he, he wanted the, he wanted the dolls that, that were ugly and that didn't get a lot of attention. That's just the sweetheart thing to do, but probably not the smartest thing to do is to do that and what uh what uh okay is this a 
Or, oh, is this a doll? Yeah, it's a doll. Yeah, that's a doll. Okay. Oh, found the front door key. <laughs> yeah, okay. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm just gonna go back the way I came. Don't mind me. I am just... I'm just trying to get back upstairs to the front door. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Hey, chocolate. Nice. I will always take some chocolate. Because you never know when you're going to have a crying episode. You never know when you're going to start crying. Uh, and we'll and need chocolate to... What was that? What did I just see there? What was that? Also, why are there arrows pointing right here? Also, what was that? Oh, uh, okay. All right. So I can't, okay, I can't go through there. So I gotta go this way. Nah, not this guy. Wait, hold up. Okay, going this way. All right. Hey, you must be Red Belly. You must be, you must be the, uh, the famous, the infamous Red Belly. That must be you. That must, yep, yep, yep. Yep. Mr. Redbelly, don't mind me, buddy. I I am just simply and calmly and simply going to the front door. That's unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna hide. Okay, I'm hiding. Alright, I'm hiding. are attracted to sound you can throw some objects to use as your advantage to distract them is that what that said um wow was not expecting that i gotta say that was very violent very loud very very loud and unexpected uh but you know what uh, enemies will get more agitated if you hide frequently making them faster and more aggressive perfect yeah we wouldn't want anything less we want our enemies as agitated as they possibly can get. Can we leave? Can we... Wait, we can't leave. We can't. Oh my gosh. This place is huge. Why? Why? And where are my parents? I think one might be dead because I think there was a gunshot. And But why am I here? Why? Why? Am I not just in my bed? Why am I not in my bed? You can store some items in your cart, which you can use to distance... To, oh, to distract enemies with the more objects you carry in your cart the heavier it will be the pedal okay so oh wait you can navigate both on your feet or with the tricycle okay i've i i feel like i i'm reading very slowly tonight i don't know why i'm not really on my game that's okay that's okay we're gonna get through it all right so if i throw this ah okay so that makes a noise that can and will distract the enemies. Does this make a noise? Perfect, barely, but it does. That'll be fine, we'll use it. We'll take all the noise, noisy items we can get. Man, I am discouraged, I gotta say, because I have not found one dadgum doll. I've not found one protective doll. Not, not a one. We will take this ball. I guarantee it makes noise. Barely. Nice. Okay. Our cart's looking pretty good. Ride. E to ride. Okay. There we go. Took a few clicks, but we made it happen. All right. I'm just... Hey, gentlemen. Good to see you three again. Glad you all are doing well. All right. Just gonna go this way. Let's... Wait. Oh. Hey. Hey, mom. Oh man, okay, the first big jump scare got me, or didn't get me that much, not really. That one, that one got me. That one got me. Woo! All right, Baby Blue's Nightmare is a horror game created by one developer. Please submit any feedback as it really helps out with the development of the game. Nice. That was a good demo. I enjoyed it. Uh, I think it, when it comes out, uh, the full game will be pretty, pretty good. It seems like it'll be pretty good. It seemed 
pretty polished. The whole concept is pretty cool. The environment was bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm interested to see how this game will pan out. And I just realized there is a severed foot in the ball pit. Nice. That was Baby Blue's Nightmare. I got to say the one thing, I, I, I don't know. I, honestly, guys, it, and this is just, this is for whoever even cares to listen. Again, repeating myself here, but it's like, yeah, it's a good game. It's scary. And it's the setting is good. It's definitely unique. But I, I just can't like when I hear like the little baby crying and seeing him and see him in his little onesie and then just I don't know. Obviously, I know it's a game, but the fact that, you know, there's there are broken homes and there are precious little babies who are who grow up in homes like that. It just uh, it just breaks my heart and I just it makes me just so thankful for my little boy and I just want to love him as best as I can but that's again I, that's just a just something I'm saying you know not not that y'all are coming here to not for any cinema <laughs> sentimental reasons you're here to watch me play a horror game um but anyway uh I'm excited for the game when it comes out and I'll be keeping it in mind and if you guys want to see me play the full game let me know and I'll I'll definitely uh put it on the wish list and play it when it comes out all right, guys, thank you all so much for joining me for the demo of Baby Blue's Nightmare. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope to see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care.